Yeah, ChompaBreaker.com is very strong. And that's because Matt is a very good streamer with good humor and a good domain name. No, your bits gave good luck. I, I just played very poorly because I was focusing too much on chat. That's a lot. I wasn't focusing too much on chat. I just, uh, I decided to be very bad at a video game, is what I'm trying to say. What colors got TLDs? I honestly don't know other than red, but hey, <laughs> red got, red got a TLD for some reason. Um, and the, the entire purpose behind, like, the, the purpose statement behind the TLD was, like, it's to foster discussion of something. So, apparently, you know, I need to foster discussion of red splits it, here at Split Stop Red. Green, blue, not yellow. You're too kind, man. I do my best to have a good stream. Oh.gold also has... I can see why gold would have a TLD. Imagine having three monocolor streams of X dot blue, red, and green. And then having to manually combine them. Okay, that would be very funny. Okay, the Super Metroid Zelda 3 randomizer is at Samus.link. That is very strong. That's very, very good. I like that. real. While I definitely appreciate the fact that dot .red exists as a TLD because it lets me have splits.red redirect to my domain, or to my, my Twitch, I'm gonna be really honest. I'm not sure that I fully grasp the purpose behind it. it it's, it's difficult not to just assume that it's, you know, maybe colors will let me sell shit for a money grab.
Ice Pulse, how's it going? Thank you for the good luck. Wish there was a better international version of the .edu domain. Yeah, um, I think that a lot of international, which is to say non-US, um, universities end up with the country's TLD as a second level domain that they just register under. Which would be fine if American universities registered under .us.edu. Yeah, I agree. It's it's a bummer that it's, you know, kind of US only as a, as a standard. What version is this? This is Super Nintendo patched with the RPG E 1.1 patch. Ah, in the UK, it's actually something.ac.uk. I, I am curious what AC stands for in this case. Academic. Okay, that makes sense. Dimmering, how's it going? Welcome in. ch.uk school, that makes sense. Canada, you just um, have GC for .ca for government, but most schools were online so early that they just use .ca. Especially since so many companies just use .com. That makes sense.
Good. I love back attacks. Rosé, thank you for the good luck. Hope that you're doing well tonight. I can't believe that I killed that last run just to give Silver extra screen time. I know what my viewers want, though.
what, dead dragons? Well, that's not gonna happen until, like, sandworms split. Mostly you just want to see the death potion? Okay. Can do. Absolutely. This might end up being... This might end up being another uh, four cycle wing raptor, which would be just, just great, actually. Alright, well, those two are doing work. Let's find out. not jerkbird this time. Egrets, I'm sorry to tell you, but at some point, all of the video game designers in the world got together and said, you know what? Let's make birds jerks. This is a bummer, because in real life, most birds are not jerks. said most. There are, there are some exceptions to the rule. Emus, Canadian geese, magpies, yeah, 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 Australian magpies will, um, they will ruin your day, I've been told. You have an imager gallery you need me to see of Corvids being jerks. All right, I actually really want to see that. Please uh, either whisper it to me on Twitch or DM it to me on, um, on Discord. But for obvious reasons, I can't open it immediately. So somebody, uh, honestly, multiple people are welcome to DM it to me. Oh, 
True Corvids are, are high-key amazing birds. Corvids are particularly interesting because uh, they are known to play. I've kept budgies, uh, parakeets for, uh, Americans. Um, and... Both of the parakeets that I kept also, uh, would play. But I'm not sure if they do that as a natural behavior in the wild, whereas corvids definitely have been, uh, observed playing in the wild without having to, you know, be taught the behavior. Which is really interesting. Yeah, that's true. Australian magpies are just terrifying. Yes, also the name magpie ends up being confusing because Australian magpies have nothing to do, nothing in common with uh, magpies in um, other parts of the world. Uh, apparently, you know... Settlers just got there and said, hey, let's let's just name let's name this bird after this other bird that it looks like. So yeah, uh for Hebby, who is Australian, uh, I don't have to be afraid of magpies at any part of the year. Like, there's no part of the year during which I think, oh no, the magpies are going to start dive bombing me. Whereas, as I understand it, there is a definite part of the year in Australia where the magpies become particularly aggressive. very scary to be stabbed in the back of the head while trying to navigate traffic. Yes, I imagine that would be true. Um, everything that I've heard about Australian magpies is very scary. Having never had it happen to you, you would posit being stabbed in the back of the head is scary at any time. That's probably fair. I'm not sure that there is any time at which being stabbed in the back of the head would not scare me. It 
birds, like the real life version of the birds. I mean, everything about Australia seems to be roughly like take normal life anywhere else in the world and then, you know, turn on max difficulty permadeath mode and that's Australia. I mean, yeah, having lived somewhere where wild rattlesnakes were a concern. Um, I've kept snakes, I've kept, um, kept, uh, American corn snake and, uh, uh, ball python, royal python for, um, UK viewers. And they were fantastic. However, they also were not caught wild. Like, My policy when it comes to snakes that I encounter that are not, you know, let's say in a pet shop, <laughs> in a in a terrarium of some sort, um, or taken immediately out of a terrarium on purpose, is to not, not, not deal with them at all. Just, just say no. Say no to to encountering or messing with snakes in the wild. Obviously, live somewhere where um, moose were a concern, and it's really funny because having never encountered a moose before, I assumed that they were, you know, just like deer, but with funny, funny different shaped horns, right? Um, I've only ever seen a moose while inside a car, and thank God, because I learned that moose are humongous. They're huge. I was not prepared for the magnitude of the animal that is a moose. You've only seen video, the one was bigger than the guy's pickup truck? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I believe that. Also, welcome in. But yeah, I, I was in a I was in a um, a station wagon at the time, and the moose uh, I, I was looking up because the moose was just on the side of the road, and it was substantially uh, larger than than the car that I was in.
You had recess canceled once because a moose and her baby were on the playground. That's a good reason to cancel recess. You know, like, there's the, the thing where, you know, a school bully has decided that, no, this is my jungle gym and nobody else is allowed to play with it. Except that the moose actually gets to make that claim. Is the item slash term bull bar used outside of Australia? Not as such. Um, I assume it's going to be very similar to a cattle catcher, which is probably the the same, probably the same thing. But just the the bars that you bolt to the front of a, a vehicle, which are expected to help it in in the event of a collision. There you go. Apparently bull bar is used in the States in some places. I had never heard. sun is just properly out, but still very cloudy and looks like it's still drizzling on and off. Darn, I would really love to have the window open right now. It is very warm and very muggy. Yeah, Fat Swordsman, I heard him as cowcatchers in uh, in Texas as well. Sport life, you know, cowcatcher is only the thing for trains and bull bar is something for automobiles. Yeah, that's a fair distinction. I tended to hear people just refer to the, the things on their pickup trucks as ca cattle catchers as well. Pilot of a train. You know. Trains, those things that fly. Oh, this sucks. I already hate this. Alright, I'm really hoping for a scan. Haste makes this fight very, very scary. This is this is gonna go an extra round. All right, well, you get the bronze shield instead, which is worth less to sell. an incident in the UK where a train really did fly. That sounds 
Extremely bad. Arrived upside down on several platforms all at once. Ooh, yeah, that's very bad. That's super bad. Maybe, maybe... Maybe try to don't if you're piloting a train. How's it going? The only time a train should be flying is when it's being suplexed. I agree. <clears throat> I wasn't prepared to read the phrase, Maglevs should have a ramp today. I appreciate you. Poison time. Nobody expects that error. Least of all, Lina. Lina extremely does not expect that error. That's true. Anybody who's played D&D knows every single adventuring party needs to have room. That's just how these things work. Anyway, poison time. And it's like, look, I'm already at one hit point. This is fine. Everybody knows that if you're at one hit point, you can't die from poison. Unless you're also in the middle of having a, a, a bout of fisticuffs with somebody. Just found a PS1 that has been made into a clock. Given the fact that you you spelled it out P S O N E, I think that there was a um, there was a version of the original PlayStation that was released under that name. 
that was not the original PS1, the original PlayStation. That was... that was basically word vomit. I promise there was some meaning behind what I was saying. The smaller version. Okay. Exactly, the Pizone. It's a very bad mouthfeel. I don't want to say that word again ever. So I really hope that I get two steals off this time. Because I have to re-equip Lena no matter what. No, there are not very many phrases that I'm willing to say out loud that have a worse mouthfeel than the phrase Daddy Kevin. That's just terrible. Nobody wants to say that. Nobody enjoys it. Please never say that again. I hope to not ever say it again, however, unfortunately... Someday I very well might uh, have a bluff called. Anubis, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. You haven't gotten to sleep yet. You're not up early. Fair enough. Regardless, I hope that you're doing well. does extra damage if you're the same level as the target. Dr. Dubs, you're heading off. Have a fantastic evening. Also, I'm very happy to say that I'm finally living up to my domain name. Streaming here at splits.red.
Night Dubs, have a good one. Tristram, thank you very much for the good luck. Somebody seriously redirects Splits.Green to my, my, my Twitch. That's very fun. It's also dishonest, but it's very fun. Mystery person, thank you very much. You are, you're lying to a lot of people. Hey, I know... How many people do I know who are colorblind? I know at least one person I know is red-green colorblind. It is made for some awkward moments playing um, Among Us. I think I only know one red-green colorblind person. But yes, in that case, they are the same color. Sildra's not dead. The last time we heard that noise, Sildra didn't die. Sildra just announced that he's just completely sick of this shit and is has desired to uh, to retire to a a tra tropical beach somewhere. Exactly. He wants to see the world. Interestingly enough, um, in in his retirement, he ended up um, in a, a dimension shift when the two worlds were joined together. Went back in time to Final Fantasy IV, and is now Leviathan. That's why when Leviathan encounters the party's boat in Final Fantasy IV, Leviathan is just like, you know what? I'm I'm sick of this. This is bad. I'm, I'm sick of boats. Yeah, uh, Swordsman, that's what we ended up doing. Um, 
as we made sure that, that we were wearing identifiable hats and clothing. As it turns out, when one of the people that's playing with you is colorblind, um, like that's that's an unfair advantage. Uh, and, and depending on whether the person is colorblind, it, it depending on whether he was um, an imposter or or a crew member, um, it was only ever the advantage of whatever he wasn't, and that made it pretty unfun for him. So yeah, we just... we coordinated to make sure that we were identifiable. Finder News, how's it going? Have a fantastic sleep. Thanks for hanging out. And yeah, Swordsman, I extremely agree with you. you Lost power for 18 hours this weekend. Oh, God, I don't miss. I don't miss uh, that aspect of living in Texas. Um, yeah, that sucks. Someone ran into a power pole. More than any anything else, I hope that everybody was okay. And I'm sorry to hear about you losing power for like half your weekend. Yeah, but, um... I've certainly told stories before about how much I did not enjoy, uh... the... the issues that... that I had to deal with, um... with the, the power grid when I where I lived in Texas, but, um... It's just one of those things where every time you hear a new story, and it's it's more outrageous than the last. Thank you very much. 
with a no penalty back seat, letting me know that the SNES has a mosaic effect in hardware. That's true. You might think, wow, these developers were forced to do complex calculations to make this mosaic effect happen. They didn't have to. They got it for free. I have family in Texas, and during the Texas just doesn't have power because the entire state is frozen as a joke or a prank uh, period this year. It, it was actually really, really stressful. You know, one of my favorite things about this is how I didn't have to go through any of that um, steamship. I actually could have just come here from the jail. Yeah, the most Canadian internet outage last week. A beaver chewed through a trunk line. Oh my gosh. Yes, that is an extremely Canadian brand of problem, for sure.
split time. So I don't think I should have lost 12 seconds there. help you're attached to Final Fantasy 14. So like are you looking for for like a party then?
Look at the It's just my cute. There, it's there. It's good. no math crimes there. No crimes were committed. If any crimes were committed, they will go unnoticed. Yeah, Geomancer you end up not using in the speedrun. What does that ether do? Okay, so I threw an empty slot, which gave me negative one over one byte, which is 255. Nothings. And then I stole an ether, which went over the negative one. Nothings. So it gave me zero ethers. I needed to use an ether, therefore. Stay ninja, you need to become a media. That looks correct. Exactly. It's like it's like the, the classic math problem from from primary school. You have minus one nothings, and you add one ether to your minus one nothings. You then use one of your none ethers. How many ethers do you have? The answer is two hundred and fifty five. Welcome back with that said. Yo, Reign of Soden, how's it going? Um, your math is wrong because this is over one byte. If this was over two bytes, you would have been correct. But yes, there there was um, one reset in the uh, in the Wind Temple because. I don't know how to press buttons, but it's just a little short. God, I love that pun. Bless you, Yogo. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffing, everyone. It's probably only going to get worse as the day warms up.
Uh, to my knowledge, all of the SNES registers are 16-bit. But you can do math. Well, it, it has a 6502 compatible mode. Uh, so you can do math in 8-bit mode. You can make the explanation of the Ether Underflow sound a lot like that Missile Guidance video. The game knows how many Ethers there are because it knows how many there aren't. So the, the core of that bug, the, the business logic that leads to that particular exploit is this. Because there was a throwable item in that slot before I moved one of those, um, those knives uh, into, uh, into Ferris's uh, left hand, I think that was the left hand, it doesn't matter, before I equipped it. Due to the fact that knives stack, you can have up to 255 of them because, of course, they're throwable. You're probably going to want to have more than one. There is no business logic that checks whether you have run out of throwable items in a given item slot. So that item slot is considered to be throwable, even though there's no item in it. To Final Fantasy's uh, credit, when you throw an empty slot. When you throw nothing, it does zero damage. It doesn't crash. Like, there's a lot of things that are worse that could have happened that don't. However, what does end up happening is that it still decrements the count of items from that slot. In most cases, that doesn't matter. After the battle's over, you look at your, your inventory, it, it fixes itself. It says, there's nothing here, this number should not exist, and then it just zeroes it out. No big deal. However, as long as before you do that, you steal something over top of it, that basically put an item into that empty slot, which currently has minus one items, which in one byte is 255, Now it says you have zero of this item because you added one to minus one, which is fine. And it says, you know, it's it's whatever item you stole. In this case, it'll be an ether. Later on, it's going to be um, some dragon things that I'll steal. So again, if you leave the battle, gonna be fine. No big deal. You get out, it says, there's zero ethers here. You should not be allowed to do anything with these. Zero is it out, everything's fine again. However, because you did just steal an ether, the game says you should be allowed to use this ether, which decrements the number of ethers that you have. Once again, from 0 to negative 255, or negative 1, which is 255. So now you've got 255 ethers, and it just so happens that those sell for a pretty good amount of money. Well, no, minus one is 255. Just like you learned in elementary school.
Ease out, thank you for that. Yes, exactly. Zero X FF five. There isn't business logic that checks for out of uh, range values, as you can see from the fact that I can now sell all of those ethers. compliment. God, I love that. That's good.
Yeah, the sound font that they that they used for the the sandworm is is kind of kind of wonky. Welcome in everyone. I'm Tina. Recently been learning this game. Not super great at it. It's been a ton of fun. Hey, I don't need to keep on mashing. Alright, it's mashing time again. Newster, how's it going? I'm doing all right tonight. Allergies are like super kicking my butt today because it's it's been warm. It's been like raining on and off today. It's uh, it's drizzling a bit, which it's only kind of keeping the air somewhat, somewhat uh, free of allergens. Nowhere near enough for it to be. Uh, Sniffle free today. But say la vie, what are you gonna do? Murderous sky crawdad is what you're gonna do. It's, this is no. Sniff la vie, yes, exactly. Sky dad, exactly. The crawdad in the sky. It's the sky dad. You ever think about the fact that you just they took off a sky crawdad attacked, and then Sid was like, actually, you know what? Adventuring? Not for me. something terrible.
How's it going, tall white ninja? That's true, the air around me is not actively crustacean. That's good. Now a red mage, wherever that is. I love it. I love the 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 humor of speeding up that track. It's so good. Weirdos, thank you so much for your two months of Prime subscription now. And thank you for the good luck. Uh, so far, luck has actually been really bad. But somehow, uh, I have managed uh, to, to be ahead, I think. At least at this point. Probably. We'll know it after Archeatus. But I'm pretty sure right now I'm ahead. I mean, the last, last split I have like 45 minutes to save on, so...
How's it going? You're only halfway to affording a reset. I win today. Good to hear. Don't worry, once everything's out of beta, people will be able to, to purchase resets with currency as well. How many ethers do you have to sell to buy a reset? At least 255. I will say, right now, uh, it's late enough that a, um, a reset ends the stream, so... Might not, might not be worth pulling out the reset just yet. One of the things that is going to be tied into the logic of it is that when I'm doing shorter runs, like Shantae and stuff like that, um, it'll actually be much cheaper than it would be for, let's say, a reset of like a, a Final Fantasy run. Yeah, reset's definitely cheaper for shorter ones. One of the reasons that I didn't just, you know, put it live right now is because I want like several aspects of it need need to need to be considered. Um, you Yeah, I'm also going to make them cheaper closer to the beginning of it. That's true. Sixty... some forty? Some thirty-eight?
Alright, so it took two golds to get back onto PB pace. We are finally 12 seconds ahead. Deus Ex Cara. Yeah, pretty much. Are these meteors like spaceships? Uh, that That's actually literally about to be answered. Uh, not quite spaceships, more like interdimensional spaceships. Dimension ships, they're dimension ships. Dimension. There you go. Maybe. I don't know. Linear maps. God. Well played. That's a good joke. Hey, did you know that Mode 7 allows you to do uh, any or all Pathfind transformations on a background layer? It's true. Nintendo gave us eight different modes. And you know which one is the biggest is Mode 7. It's because it's the best mode. Why doesn't Mode 7, the strongest of all the modes, simply eat the others? These are the questions.
We have Phoenix Downs, we just decided not to use them. Final Fantasy 4. What are you thinking? We should talk about the amazing poise that's required to do that pirouette at the very end of the... Is that a bow? I think that's the bow. Um, of a flying airship. Great. I hope that nothing ever happens to him. He deserves to live a long, happy life. Wear fashionable armor made out of bones. That's true. In anime terms, Galoof has lived a very long life. That's indisputable. At the end of this game, one of these warriors will die? No, that's not true. All of the warriors from World 1 live. That's canon.
We've decided to hate the rotors on the airship sprite are oddly placed. That's fair. Yeah, sub two world two, not too bad. Good starting place for my second, uh, hopefully second completed run ever. Oh no, I'm supposed to be in a different room. Thank you. Well, 
don't worry, I'm going to have to start referring to notes more often now. Um... My knowledge of the menus, uh, once we hit World 2, definitely starts decreasing. Hey, the giant mirror is very important. It, it means the world to me if I'm able to, to to create an environment, to create a stream where people enjoy hanging out, enjoy, you know, chatting with each other, chatting you know, with me is, is certainly nice. Um, yeah, it's important to me that I, that I make a place that's comfortable, and it, it means a lot to hear that, that I've managed to do that for you. So, thank you.
a static sprite doesn't need animations to have a jump command. He's so powerful that you fill it in with your mind. Look, if I were on a quest to save the world, I would simply choose not to take fall damage. Darn it. Okay. Uh, let's skin this Lena.
So what the Moogle's showing you there is actually that you won't get into encounters if you um, if you don't go into the desert. Just for anybody who isn't aware of it. Uh, the desert has some pretty scary encounters. Obviously very, very scary. The level up we're at. Sure, I don't think that if you're not in the desert, I, I think that you just don't get encounters. But I could be wrong. Oh boy, uh, Galoof clipping into that Moogle did did some real good stuff there. That was um, that was that was definitely sprite interaction of a sort. Yeah, often Galoof clips into the Moogle, but I've never seen that particular, uh, that combination of pixels in that precise uh, order. That was, that was real good. That Moogle right there is the, um, That's the gag that made them have the, the helicopter blow the guy off of the platform in Final Fantasy VII. Yo, Leggy, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. I'm Tina. I'm pretty bad at this game. If you're interested in watching somebody who's bad at a game, play the game and pretend to go fast in a way that hopefully makes you feel like you should play the game, go fast, and get a better time than me. Stick around, because I'm going to do my best to do just that. Galoof's laughing sprite so much. The only thing that could be worse than Galoof's laughing sprite is if Galoof's laughing sprite also had the Galoof on fire pink magic glowy bit. But Galoof's laughing sprite looks like it belongs in like Lisa or something.
there a reason for always putting Ferris in front? Um, just convenient. Actually, in just a little bit, um, you'll see more party leaderships change once we start dragon powering everyone. But a lot of work has been done in this run to um, make it so that the changes that you do to job, to, to like your, your job and um, equipment and just any general menuing that you're going to need to do both in and out of battle is most likely to be um, as efficient as possible. Later on, um, once once you have combine and we start using dragon power a lot, you're going to see whoever is the primary recipient of dragon power is going to be the person who ends up in front because that's the the default target for a combine. Item pouch, you have succeeded. Congratulations on whatever you succeeded in doing. You have failed. I'm sorry to hear it, but whatever you were working on, good job. Failure is the first step to success. sounded snarkier than I meant for it to be. I actually legitimately meant fancy.
Heavy, thank you for hanging out. I hope you had fun. Have a fantastic evening. sad we don't get to recruit Mog in this run. It's fair, but consider... We sort of have Mog in that... Just walking fancy is like having a Moogle charm. Just put Dance and Geomancy on the same character. That's him, that's Moloch. set a scene for you. You've got a migraine because of a psychic attack. You have a psychic migraine. And then your father, smelling of moat water, 
decides to barge into your room and, and have an extended conversation with you. Anyway, it's time to get poisoned again. How's it going, Mephinder? Yeah, it's easy to get gold splits when you've only ever completed one run. True facts. Mortal, thanks for hanging out. Hope you have a good evening. Mephinder, also going to bed soon? Fair enough. It's true, walking fancy is basically the same thing as dancing. going south this time. You usually go north, and it takes like a million years to get to the big bridge. Hey, good news, I just saved a million years on this split.
I didn't need to take that shield. I'll just sell it later. But... Glad I was able to give you the, the death potion spray, uh, Bat Swordsman. Right, next split is for the roof. Ninja, thanks for hanging out, and thank you for the good luck. Have a fantastic evening.
it's gonna be Dragon Power Ferris. Ferris will drink a speed drink. I don't be guild tossing. Ferris will guild toss. One more Dragon Power. Guild toss, and we will menu Mithril to where the empty dragon comes out.
I think that's all. I think that's all the extra steps I have to worry about. Nope. There's one more area with extra steps to worry about. It's here. Toss you. All right. Bart's is a thief, so this is fine for me now. Lena becomes a thief.
We're good. We're on step run. Always forget if I'm supposed to go to the right or to the left of that one tree. We're good. north of here. I should get another fight. I wasn't supposed to spend that money. That's I don't think this is going to be a sub-3 galoot, which is a bummer. No, the cutscene where we were waiting for Kara to stop crying takes forever, so... This will not be a sub-3 galoot. Too bad.
I'm not even gonna kill Galoof before three hours. Yeah, bringing those times down little by little. Well, yeah, I mean, of course, if Phoenix Town is going to kill him, he's wearing bone armor. That's what Phoenix Towns do when you're wearing bone armor. It's made of bones. Probably would have been fine if they just took off the bone armor first. That's true, Fat Swordsman. I assume that if if uh, X Death had all four crystals, they would have been in like a, a Tetris T shape. Yo, Nier, thank you very much for the host. Welcome in, everyone. I'm Tina. I've been learning this game because I make very good decisions. Um, you know, with how to spend my time, things along those lines. Nirm Raid, Bix here, everybody that I need to be here to, to judge me, to, um, to see me playing a video game bad. Hey, everybody who's here, if you're not already following both Bic and Nirm, um, please consider fixing that. It's a mistake, but everybody makes those. The nice thing about mistakes is that we can learn from them, we can grow as people. And both Nierman and Bick are tremendous streamers who everybody should be watching 24 hours a day. Okay, Nierm has requested that, that you not watch 24 hours a day, but I'm gonna say whenever Nierm is streaming, you should you should be watching. Hopefully we can meet in the middle that way. Bic, however, is okay with 24 hours a day. So there you go. Anybody who's been wondering, like, you've been thinking, I need more content in my life. Twitch.tv slash BicFongBalls. 24 hours a day. Just, just watch content. Hashtag.
faster. That. Yeah, exactly. It's like, hey, Grandpa, lend us your power uh, to finish off Kelgar, who... You remember when Butts punched him? Yeah, let's just, let's just make him actually dead now. Thanks, Grandpa. Everyone's power, that's right. It's experience points. You got those for killing Kelgar. Good job. Toss, catch, catch. Fair. Was, that was bad, actually. Let's set up. But I, I'm pretty sure that I'm off step up now, which is... not as terrifying as it could be, actually. Duh! Shaw! Kara gets ninja. It's Dragoon. That's, that's not what we need to be.
Bueno. There's almost certainly a reason that I don't do that. I would love to know what it is. I think that's back on target. Once more?
Yeah, Hexdeath is is real big on Improv Night. Big fan of it. I assume that if I'm playing well, I should get to World 3 before 3 hours. That's correct. Okay. Cool. So Sub 3 World 3 is going to be, I guess, my initial goal. Sub 2 World 1, Sub 3 World 2, Sub 340 World 3. Okay. I'll probably get it next stream. Yeah, probably not. A lot of... So, I am... I'm picking up the step route faster than I anticipated. But I'm having a hell of a time remembering a lot of these menus. Fight strats are also pretty tough. I honestly, I really wish that I had a... Um, I wish I had my Naki Tech here so that I could do proper... Um, proper save state uh, practice with these. Timpanist is having a lot of fun. Yeah, it, it, it feels uh, just a little bit more bombastic than I would have expected for that particular song.
Welcome back with that set. Cloudy one with the no penalty backseat, telling me that I should go very fast here. Aria, thank you very much for the good luck. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in. Very large splinter. Yeah, Guido is very powerful. Um, that one fight scene just right here is a compelling argument for why they should make a 3D remake of this game. Just so that you can get to see what they come up with for that fight. Our guild toss.
欢。Was that just the weirdest, um, yeah, it was just the weirdest placement ever. Machine heads got look this up. Dragon Fang Hydra. Potion. Gill toss. Now you're actually fine.
Not like that. Mm. Okay. Well, so we probably need here. This was what, 12 steps? So we're taking 10. Hopefully that fixes it. You have black magic. Good, let's go. Body shoot, thank you for the good luck. So far, doing better than expected. I'm not, I'm not 
familiar with who that is. But I have played the paper. Getting over it. Oh, oh. Okay. Not the, um... Not, not somebody that I would have expected to be... To, to have made the paperclip game. But, fair enough. Hey, Vic, if you're still here, or near... Um... So, the notes, as they stand, tell me to sell shields. Just period. Um. Escape. Let me optimize? No optimize. Interesting. Should I be selling Aegis coming up? It's the paper clips game is very good. I enjoyed it quite a lot. Looks like they both did. Bummer. Well, last time that I played, I didn't I didn't ditch the Aegis, and I didn't feel like things went horribly wrong because of it. So I'll sell the gold shield that I wasn't supposed to pick up to begin with, and uh, I will hold on to the Aegis. And then I will just go up the world record to see what it does. dangerous? I'm not sure that that's true. I mean, you stress, you stress your fuselage. You cause your, your aircraft to, to, you know, have a sudden landing. Rage Orbit. Yes, correct.
void, we already are set up. Nice. And we're on the right step route still. I will eventually fall off the step route. Right now. Metanol, how's it going? Finally discovering Mario 64, you've learned to never touch the manual control button, or the manual uh, camera control. I mean, I know it, it works really well for a lot of speedrunners. That's right. and then
skill toss. Kara will defend. Okay, then it'll be Lena Lena. Lena's gonna guild toss. Defend or Dragon Power if Age. Ah, Antidote Maiden's Kiss. Finer news, that is... Interesting, uh, but I think um, unlikely. Avoid cave. Here we go. Six steps and re-enter at waterfall. Enter and leave. First and third caves on the way. Excuse me? Yo, Lat Mackie, how's it going? Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, I just fell off the step route, so okay, this will still be a good run. I'm Tina. I, I've been just beginning to learn this run. Um, you did just miss uh, a, a very good uh, game over. Yo, Vani, thank you for the good luck. Then it gets dragon powered, and then rev to. Then Lena just skill tosses. Two will be double dragon. Power. Wait, dragon power, dragon power, skill toss. Okay. Paris defends. Bart's Phoenix defends. Wait for Kara to die. Thank you. Yeah, four hours in on step count. Um, having to check notes every so often for not the step count, actually, just the, the boss fight uh, strats. So, getting there, but not there yet. Uh, towards this part of the game, I, I don't have any of the menus or strats uh, memorized anymore. So, a lot of note reading at this point. Uh, that's, that's step one to learning. Yeah, you're supposed to only get two encounters in this entire area. Uh, if you stay on step run. 
big if there. Right. Catastrophe. We're just we're pumping Lena, and Lena's gonna kill Toss twice. you need to do before the run to make sure you're on the right encounter seed? Nope. Nope. This is, this is great because of the fact that you don't have any of that going on. Yeah, this game, you just start a new game. There's no frame-perfect BS. There's no... There's no resetting a million times. It's just, hey... You look like you would have fun by playing a video game. Start a new one. That's it. This. Oh, set up. Also set up. Paris. Go toss and bomb. Okay, for this guy, it is Dragon Power Lena twice, Lena Gil tosses. Dragon Power Ferris twice, Lena Gil tosses, and a bunch of Gil tosses. Okay. I know you don't even need a special console from a specific subset of the revisions that exist. It's great. So, FF6 I can I can set up most of the way before everything is done. And then um Because we're off step route, I don't know if I get any encounters before Twintania, even though it's like right here. Aegis. Four actions. High potion. Death potion.
See you next time. Given the short distance, you kind of have to force encounters between our uh, Helicarnassus and Quintanian. That's good to know. I'm off step route, but it's manipulation. Why not? Yo, uh, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, I've just been learning this. I'm still on notes. Uh, but this will be a huge PB if I if I win this fight. So, you know, that's good. Are you just in time for a PB? Only if I win this fight. It's true. The void is just spilling everywhere. Somebody needs to pick it up and put it away. Oh, thank you so much for 39 months. I agree with your with your resub message. Good game. Uh, 
parts. Mine things. Mines. Push me Oops. Answer. Answer. Mine optimize. Nice. Lina, you become samurai. Dragon Power Lina and Guard. In second turn, Dragon Power Lina. Lina will Gil Toss. Round three, Bart's is gonna rev Maiden's Kiss X Tree. Ferris is gonna guard. Lina's gonna Gil Toss. Dragon Power Lina. to do it, and we start our here. It's Red Maze. It's a blessing. Paris guards. I know that you and I have talked about Final Fantasy V before. Um, I knew that you liked it. I didn't know that that it's um, like particularly special or anything to you. Thank you, everyone, for the GGs. All right. Yeah, sub four needs to happen sometime soon. Tons of mistakes here, but um, I feel like within the week I should I should be able to get my first sub four. That's right, the world was just saved by a dead girl, a strong girl, and two frogs. As one does. What time is it? Ah, it's 10 a.m. Well, given how bad this run was, and it was exceptionally bad, or, or, Newster can just reset my console anyway. I was going to say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find a host target, but now I will definitely be finding a host target. Um, hey! Did you know that uh, my uh, <laughs> that you can spend uh, fake internet time money uh, to reset my console whether I like it or not? Anyway, um, hey, that was a good run. 